Hello, welcome to another Half 42 unboxing video. This week I have decided to get myself a new camera bag. I've had a couple of camera bags and I've done unboxing videos on most of them. This one I went slightly different. I didn't go for a name brand, I went for um, a slightly cheaper option. Um, got it off the internet, it's the Innovate Apollo 230. Uh, Innovate spelled I-N-O-V-8. So, yeah. Enough said about that, the better, but uh, let's see what we've got. This is um, a backpack, sort of rucksack style uh, camera bag I've got here, so let's turn the packaging and see what's inside. Okay, so already I can see from the material it's cheap. I mean, it's got kind of slippery cargo netting on the outside. It's uh, definitely nylon. Oh, on the front it's got... Uh, that's got a sort of a hook thing that you can put your uh, tripod through. Uh, it's got front pouch here. Uh, inside you've got your usual uh, pockets here for spare memory cards. And you've got another big pocket at the back here for uh, anything else you want to put in the front. Such as, you know, filters. Actually, it actually looks probably similar to other ones I've got. Except that the stitching's a little bit cheaper and there's none of that really cool sort of cargo netting or elastic you get in here. In here it's just purely nylon material and a couple of pockets sewn on the front. Although the actual pocket itself has got sponge inside it so it's got a nice shock absorber there so that's actually not too bad. Right we have got the interior. Got a pocket at the front here. Actually, no, I tell a lie, that actually has got that sort of cargo netting inside. It's got one, two, three, four pockets, which is probably good for memory cards and sort of smaller equipment like filters, things like that. And on the front of that, it's got a nice sort of Velcro patch there with a sort of red tab so you can uh, see when you put it up there. So that's not bad. And once again, that's also loaded with sort of uh, sponge inside, so it's, it's not, not too shabby. Inside the main body, we've got your usual uh, tear off sections in here. Let's give these a look. So, yeah, uh, these are not as substantial as the usual ones you get. There's no rigidity to them, but to give them their due, they've got some Velcro at the side. They've got um, a soft cloth there so it's not going to scratch any of your lenses and um, when they do adhere to the, side, the uh, velcro on here it's quite secure so yeah once it's in there that's not really going anywhere so yeah I think if you put a um, camera in there maybe some uh, extra lenses here and here and it's, it's designed quite well because you can put your body there with a lens attached cut lenses either side yeah, it's not too bad at all, actually. I'll take back what I said earlier. This is actually not that shabby. I mean, the stitching isn't perfect. It hasn't got the nice quality finish you used to get with a premium camera bag. But with the spongy the side, uh, these are fairly thick and spongy as well. And with the quite tough Velcro, that'll actually keep your equipment fairly safe. And if you're not looking to spend money on a low pro or other other brands um this is not too bad at all also i like the way it's got the uh, adjustable straps at the front so when this folds open it stays at a certain level so you can sort of rest things on there and if you want it to open all the way you can take those off and it opens up fully so that's actually quite nice and it folds away behind it and it get, gets it out of the way so you've got a nice open area to work with now it's got another section at the top here Ah, once again in here, got a nice padded section. Uh, once again, more cargo in the back there, so you can sort of put stuff in the back behind it, as up the front, so it won't go knocking around the place. And you can probably put another lens in there, or pack lunch in there, or whatever else you want to put in the top. So yeah, um, that's actually not bad at all.
actually a uh, rucksack, as I can see. It's actually a sling bag. So it'll go over your shoulder. It's got a um, clip there, got an adjustable strap at the front so you can get it to fit yourself. Then you've got your usual little clip that goes on the side there and clips onto the front so you can feel secure and it won't sort of fall off. Also looking at the back here, it's got some um, nice sort of anti-sweat netting there so you don't have the full material on you so if you're running around the place or walking around on a, on a day's sort of photo shoot your back will be nice and ventilated and the strap will be nice and ventilated. Also inside the strap it's got a really tough piece of either rubber or foam in there that gives it keeps it as a nice tough rigid structure it's got a couple of things you can attach things to and a couple of buckles that you can also sort of attach maybe attach your camera to or attach a couple, a couple of bits of pieces you want to hang down maybe a map or whatever else on the edges you've got side packets ah now much like the agile eye sling bag which i bought a few months ago uh sort of almost a year ago in fact and did a, a uh, unboxing video you can actually access your camera from the side here because you can fit the camera in there with a a lens attached you can access it straight out the side of the bag here so when you fling it around the front of you you can open it up and just reach straight in camera straight out take your shots camera back in zip it back up and it's secure again so it's very easy to get to your, get to your camera on the side here we've got another uh, holster which you can use for your water bottle or you can maybe stick a monopole for their monopod so that'd be cool uh, on the bottom you've got a couple of uh, very nice straps here which um, say you can put us maybe a ground sheet through or um, anything which you can roll up you can put through there at the bottom or maybe you can hang a water bottle at the bottom or whatever you prefer or even a second tripod if you uh, really felt like it and you've got these two hard wearing guards at the bottom so if uh, you do put it down somewhere it cushions the base, also it grips so it's not going to slip around because the actual bag itself is quite slippy but the place you grip it, so there, there and when it's on the ground that grips the ground are actually not as slippy as the rest of the body so you're not going to drop it and it's not going to slide out your grasp uh, the zips are actually quite good quality um, you can zip it up and down as fast as you like and it doesn't look like they're going to gate or tear or uh, come undone the uh, Innovate Apollo 230 offers a snug fit for SLR bridge cameras with four adjustable inner padded walls uh, ensuring your camera and all its lenses are safe from any bumps or bashes yeah I'll give you that, it's, it's a tough bag and it's got the walls in there which although they're not as rigid as some of them it's still going to hold your camera in place the adjustable secure sling straps offer comfort as well as practicality allowing easy access to your equipment from the side pocket as well and quick access to your camera on the base here we have got a pouch and i think look at that that is a built-in mac which you can put around the thing that's quite useful. So if you're out on a rainy day, you've got your camera in your back, you get caught in a downpour, you can put this around it and it's going to stop your equipment getting soaked. And this actually goes all the way around it. I mean, it goes all the way around the side of it. So um, once that's on your back, you can tuck this around you and uh, stop all your expensive equipment getting soaking wet. And that's hidden in the back behind. And also, when that's actually inside, it acts as an extra cushion. So it's not on the small of your back. So, in summing up, the Innovate Apollo 230 slash memory um, is not a bad bag at all. I was expecting it to be cheap, I was expecting it to be nasty. I mean, no, the stitching isn't the best in the world inside, but that's just on a few of the pockets. The actual body is very well put together. It's got some one really nice features. I like the strap, it's nice and tough. I like the side opening. I like the fact that you can access your camera from the front and the back. I like the way this flops open, but it's got the two straps that keep it from opening all the way out. All in all, that is not a bad camera bag at all. Yeah, so yeah, the Innovate Apollo 230, I'd definitely give that a 4 out of 5. It may be a 4, maybe a 3 and a half. Not a bad bag at all. Thanks for watching another one of my Hub 42 unboxing videos. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side.